What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marine. Today's video discussion is probably going to upset some people out there. Uh, it depends on where you learned to dive or whatnot. Your instructor, especially your Nitrox instructor, probably told you certain things that was a little bit misleading from what they actually are. So of course this video discussion is going to be on Nitrox, but we're also going to look at three of the most common myths about Nitrox and why what your instructor told you wasn't necessarily true. So first myth that we're going to look at, of course, is the word nitrox. Nitrox in itself does not exist. It's a made-up word that is shortened for enriched air. And what is enriched air? It's any gas mixture that has O2 blended in with it. So technically, standard breathing gas that all divers use is 21% nitrox so that's right that 21 percent standard breathing air is 21 percent nitrox it just means the the mixture of air we're breathing has been enriched with 21 percent o2 and so that in itself makes it nitrox now once again the myth of the word nitrox we it's actually enriched air it's not nitrox we just made up a word if you will that makes it short and easy to say nitrox so that's the first myth the second myth that we're going to look at Nitrox gives you more time underwater and actually Nitrox does the absolute opposite. It does not give you more time under the water and let me tell you why that is the case. So let's think about the gas tank on your vehicle for a second. If I have, and like in my pickup truck, I have a 37 and a half gallon tank on my pickup truck. I can go about 550 miles on a tank of gas before I have to fill up that tank again. Now I run regular old 87 octane in my in my truck. It's the, it's the low grade gas, you know, it's the low man on the totem pole as far as gas is concerned. But if I ran that 93 octane, I still only have a 37 and a half gallon tank. I'm still only going 550 miles or so before I got to fill up again. So even though that 93 octane is better for the engine, better for the motor, it will make it last longer, it still does not allow me any more travel time. And nitrox is the exact same thing. If you think of it in terms of volume of gas, yes, it gives you more no decompression limit but it does not give you no more air time. So in itself, if you can't make a tank last longer than say 30 minutes, your nitrox tank is not going to last you no more than 30 minutes. So the, the myth there that nitrox gives you more time underwater is not necessarily true. It gives you more no decompression time. It does not give you no more air time simply because you're going to use the air in that tank the exact same amount of time or in the same time span as what you would use plain old air. All right, the next myth, of course, you can go deeper on nitrox. And if you've taken a nitrox class, you know this is not the case. Now, a lot of times training agencies, the big boys, SSI, Patty, Nowy, and all the other ones, they kind of promote it as a gateway into the technical realm of things. But if you sit back and think about it and remember from your nitrox class, the richer the blend or the higher the blend, the shallower you must stay because of the partial pressure of that O2 in that enriched air or in that nitrox blend becomes more toxic the deeper you go. So guys, that's the three most common myths about nitrox. Nitrox, it's a made up word. It's actually enriched air. More time underwater. It does not give you more time. It gives you more decompression time, not more air time. You're going to use your air the same amount as whether it's air or nitrox. Your tank only holds so much air. And then lastly, you can go deeper underwater. We know this is not the case it's simply based off the partial pressure of O2 and what our maximum operating depth is. The higher the blend of nitrox or enriched air, the shallower you must stay. So guys, I really hope this didn't make too many guys out there upset. If you got a comment or concern on this or a question, or if you just think I'm off my rocker, put it down in the comment section below. I'll be happy to discuss it with you. As always, check back each week for new videos. If you've got a suggestion or a question that you would like, a video to be shot on, put it down there. I'll be happy to try, try to find the time to shoot that video for you. But as always, make sure to check back each week for a new video. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.